This problem honestly might be a little tricky to think about. Let's consider the formula for the electric field strength. The electric field strength is equal to the charge of the point creating the electric field divided by 4 pi epsilon naught, all constants, multiplied by the square of the distance between the point setting up the charge and the point we're analyzing. The important thing to understand is that this strength is proportional to the magnitude of the charge, but inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So the more a particle is charged, the stronger the field is, but the field also becomes stronger at a faster rate if you bring the particles closer together. So let's consider what's happening in this problem. We have a positive charge on the left, and remember that electric field lines, by convention, point away from positive charges and towards negative charges. So there are some electric field lines coming outside, away from this positive Q. And on the right side, we have a negative 3Q charge. It is a negative charge, so by convention, electric field lines are pointing towards this charge. In between the two charges, the electric field points directly from the positive charge into the negative 3Q charge. However, since the rightmost charge, negative 3Q, has a higher charge magnitude than the leftmost charge, it is going to have, it's going to be setting up a stronger electric field surrounding it than the leftmost particle because of this relationship, because of the fact that the strength is proportional to the magnitude of the charge. So we have a slightly stronger electric field coming into the left particle. So going back to what the problem is actually asking, we're looking for a point at which the net electric field between the two particles is equal to zero. Now since any charged particle is setting up an electric field that exists all around it infinitely in space, the only thing we're really looking for, what we need to find in order to find a point where it's equal to zero, we need to find a point where the arrows are pointing in opposite directions so that some canceling out is going on. There definitely will not be any canceling out in between the particles because the electric field lines are pointing away from the positive charge and into the negative one. So they're just pointing directly to the right and nothing's going to cancel out there. So we can throw out the idea that there's going to be a net zero field between the particles. Now there are going to be electric field lines pointing in opposite directions on both the left and right side. On the right side of the two particles, for example, there are going to be the electric field lines pointing into the negative 3 charge, because it's a negative charge, but since the electric field extends infinitely into space, there will be some rightwards pointing field lines that are stretching out from the positive Q charge on the left side. Similarly, the same sort of thing is going to be happening on the left side, where, yeah, most of there's going to be electric field lines coming out of the positive Q charge, but there are also going to be some electric field lines over there pointing to the right that are being sucked into the negative 3Q charge on the right. So, how do we figure out which side will have a point of net zero field? Well, this is where the inverse square law comes into play. This is where we have to consider that the electric field gets weaker with distance. No matter how far to the right of this system we go, the, left, the, the rightmost charge, the negative 3Q, will always have a stronger effect than the leftmost charge, because anywhere we are to the right of this system, not only is the negative 3Q charge have a stronger magnitude, but it's also always going to be closer to us, no matter how far to the right we are. If we're on the left side of the particles, you might think that the leftmost charge takes precedent because it's the one we're closer to, but since it has a weaker charge magnitude than the particle on the right, there will have to come a point where those forces balance each other out.
Yes, we're always going to be closer to the left particle on the left side, but as we can see from this little square, the, the field strength decreases much faster due to distance. So somewhere, there will have to be a point where the electric field is zero to their left. Now let's consider part B of the problem, which asks if there's any point where the net field is zero off the axis. Well, remember, we only have two particles we're working with here, and the only way for us to have two particles and to have a net field of zero is, as mentioned earlier, for their field lines to be pointed in perfectly opposite directions so that they're canceling each other out perfectly. But look at the way I've drawn the arrows on this diagram. Outside this single axis where they line up, the arrows point all over the place. It isn't hard to realize that off the axis, there can be no other place where the arrows, where the field lines, are completely parallel to one another. So the answer is no. There can't be any other points off the axis where the field strength is a, a perfect zero. And so that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing or donating to my Patreon, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.